Welcome back to Lake Ridden. All right, back to these drawing light puzzles. We got two of them. Let's try to figure out where this one goes. I'm super stuck on this puzzle. I've tried both of these and looking for things that fit, and I've I found multiple places where each one will fit, but it, none of them work. I can't get either to work on any of these. I'm very confused. Because the method I used to solve it worked for the last one just fine. Um, I don't know if the hints are really going to help me, but... There are two swarms drawing two different patterns. How are they connected? Wait, am I supposed to group them together or something? Make them into one? Maybe the two patterns can be made into one pattern. Oh. Okay. Why am I supposed to think to put them together and not just do two separate ones? If I draw one of the patterns and then the other, I'll have one pattern. There's only one combination that isn't drawn on the same points. Right, I drew little red dots where each of the patterns are. And I think I may have found the solution. I think I'm supposed to tran like um, change between one symbol to the other in one stroke without breaking it, but also without everything overlapping. I think I can do that here. So the M thing would be this. And then I can go down, over, like this, and this. Yep. Okay. It's working, Marie. She's losing her grip. What are you two talking about? I don't know what Miss Nelly is having you do, but you're far too late, Marie. Unfortunately, I can't take you and your sister back with me. But at least we finally found her. Miss Nelly, I was very surprised that neither you nor Pearl ever recognized me. You've probably figured out by now that I'm not really Nora. And how you managed to get away that night, I have no idea. But you can keep the estate. I'm so sick of that place. And that old man, locking me in here with his dumb inventions. He didn't even know what he was doing half of the time. But soon I'll be out. And then I just need to deal with that dear old couple. This is a series of shapes. I wrote down all the steps that it takes and tried to figure out which one of these it could be, but I... I could figure it out if I kept trying, but this... These puzzles are really tedious, and I have no interest in very, very, very slowly trying to solve them. So, Swarm seems to be drawing directions. The directions can be made into a pattern, but where does it start, and what stone can it be drawn on? So... Oh, okay. Okay, that's more interesting. I see. So, yeah, it's like, you know, go north, go south, go south, go east. It's like move one step there, one step there. That's what the directions are saying, so I need to find where it could possibly be. So, for example, it starts with three times going to the left. So, I have to pick a pattern that has a width somewhere of four. Because if I start from here, it'd be one, two, three. So, it could be this one. This is actually kind of interesting. That's not wide enough. This one could be it. So, like, for example, it goes to the left three times, so it would start from here, end up here, and then the next thing it does is go up. There's no more up, so it couldn't start from here. Could start from here, go over here, and then it goes up, and then it's supposed to go right two times, and then it's supposed to go up again, so it can't start from there. Here, to the left three times, up, to the right two times, up, to the left, and then it's supposed to go diagonally up here. So, cannot possibly be this one. This one's not wide enough. I think it's probably this one. So from the starting position, it's going to have to go up three times? 
Yeah, it's going to have to go up three times. Two times straight up, and then one time diagonally. Well, that would mean we'd have to... St no, this can't be it, then. We can't go up three times from here. We can only go up twice. One, two. If I start from here, it's not wide enough. I can't see any way to solve this other than just trying a million combinations, and that's really not something I want to do. If I try to draw the pattern with different start points on different stones, I'll see that there's only one pattern that fits onto one stone. With different start points. Are they not directions telling me to go left, go left, go left? Am I... The correct stone is the one where... The points are in the shape of a plus sign, but which pattern should I draw? Hmm, that'd be this one, right? I think I may have found it. Diagonal, left, 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 up, right, right, up. No. Nope, I messed that up. <laughs> Starting with the diagonal. Diagonal, left, left, left. Up, right, right, up, left. What are you doing? I am getting a call. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. No! Is there supposed to be sound now? I feel like there should be something playing with all these, like, explosions of light. Maybe I broke the audio by going into the menu. <laughs> Oops. Miss Nelly was the true hero of this story, not me. Me and Sis woke up outside the big house. I looked around, but I couldn't find either Pearl or Jack. Even his typewriter was missing. Sophia was still in shock from the night before. As we started walking towards the camping site, I couldn't believe I finally cut her back. When we arrived, the other girls had just woken up. What had seemed like several days had all taken place that night. After a few hours, Sophia was back to her old self. It was like it had never happened. Let's finish with some thoughts on Lake Ridden. Given how long we spent in that place, it feels so jarring to come back into the normal world, out of the spirit world or whatever happened. Uh, it feels really jarring to come back and then just have it be almost as if nothing happened. Like it was just a couple hours after they felt pretty normal and it was just a weird memory they thought wasn't even real. It just feels too significant, everything that we did, for that to be the case. Like, I, f I feel like surely they would have tried to go back and find the place. Find information on... Uh, what about all the other people that went missing in the area? Are they just dead? Overall, I enjoyed my time playing it. It was mostly a pretty chill and, and pleasant experience, although some of the puzzles were pretty aggravating, especially in the second half. The first half of the game was really quite nice. But then, I got that letter. My dear Marie, you probably wondered where we went after the whole incident with Nora. I'm glad to say that we're both very much alive. All thanks to you. Who knows what Nora, or whoever she was, would have done if it wasn't for you. We are forever in your debt and hope that you and Sophia are well. With what little time we have left, we've been traveling all around the world. I'm finally able to show Pearl places we only ever read about. Yours sincerely, Jack and Pearl. I wasn't particularly invested in the story. I wanted to be, because we get to play as a 13-year-old girl searching for her sister. 
that's the setup to the whole thing, and I really like the fact that we get to play as a young girl. That's not something I often get to do in games. But Marie isn't really an interesting character. There's very little characterization there at all. I really like the fact that they included a hint system in the game itself, so you don't have to go browsing on the internet and looking around Steam forums and stuff trying to find solutions. That's really nice. It's very convenient, and that alleviates most cases of really, really getting stuck and annoyed with puzzles. That has been Lake Ridden. Thanks for watching.